Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I am Diane and I am the ultimate music lover. So by coming to my channel, you clearly love music on some level and you're looking at something to do with music. So why do I music? For as long as I can remember, I have been a fan of music. It started as early as I think I was around three, listening to some of my mom's music. I can remember listening to Glenn Campbell and Eddie Rabbit, my dad's music that he listened to Conway Twitty and Merle Haggard and Patsy Cline, the great country music, Dolly Parton, Elvis. Um, you know, those were my early influences. But as I progressed on, you know, then it was things like Sean Cassidy and Donnie and Marie show and Sha Na Na. And then one of my babysitters at one point had something on TV that I thought was really interesting and I wasn't really sure what it was because I was looking at these people in makeup and their heels and these costumes and it was Kiss. So I got that early inflection and I knew that I kind of dug what was going on. I got some of the disco in there with Captain and Sunil and then I progressed on and, you know, I started discovering more music as I got older around fourth grade. It was when I discovered artists like Aldo Nova and Asia, Foreigner, The Who, then I moved on into Van Halen and Judas Priest. And then I started really developing my love for other styles of music. And as I progressed into more of my teen years, you know, the, the early stuff, uh, like a lot earlier, early Madonna. And, you know, there were so many things out there. Rick Springfield. I, I just was all over the place with music. And I even think Air Supply was in there. So there were so many different types of bands. But as I hit the 80s, I really started getting my style of music that I loved, which was the rock and the metal. And then, you know, the 80s rock, the hair bands. And so everything was kind of open and there weren't really any limits to what people were doing. It was a really fun and free time for music. And, you know, then it just kind of kept going from there, you know, and the grunge hit Seattle. And I'm not a super grunge fan. Um, I will admit that right off the bat. I mean, there are certain grunge bands that I do. Soundgarden is one of the bands that I have always loved their music. Nirvana is not a band that ever fell into a place that I really love them. I can sort of appreciate some of the stuff they did, just not my thing. Alice in Chains, oh yes. I mean, there's so there's this difference thing in this feel from Seattle and of course, Heart and Hendrix's music, you know, coming into these ages of learning different music. And then in my teen years, I also discovered the band Europe and they opened my eyes to other music I had never even really heard of or thought of because of just talking about the music that inspired them as they were growing up. I think I was still early on for all of the stuff that they had been listening to, the Uriah Heaps and Deep Purple. It really hadn't really resonated with me just yet, but I don't, I started doing that deep dive into those bands. And I mean, of course I'd already been listening to Bowie and his, his weird stuff that he did that was just so out there, but really made you kind of question music. So fast forward to today and I still love my music. I love my heavy metal. I love pop music. I, I like all kinds of music, rock music. It's all relevant. Where I typically dive though is rock and metal because that's just something that's so deep in my heart that I love rock and metal. With that said, I love country music too. And you know, my early start into the industry, I just started shooting shows with my camera and ended up writing about music and writing about shows, do show reviews, and then started doing album reviews. And just kind of everything kind of went from there. And so today, you know, it's been a decade in for writing about music and covering shows. And I, I haven't stopped. So I think it's relevant. And so what I'm doing now with 2021 is with this channel, you know, it's been a place where we've housed all of the interviews and live stuff that's been going on, but it's going to grow more with having reaction videos and more live album reviews where they're done on video. Because I think you guys, you do your content differently today. And I know I do. I, it's not the same where people used to sit down and read a magazine while I still browse things. I think people would do a lot more consuming with video or with audio where they can just listen to things. So things you're going to find on my channel where will be album reviews, reaction reviews to videos, fan requested reactions. Those are fun. I'm like, it cracks me up because I'm having so much fun talking with all the fans of music that have been making suggestions to me on things that should be covered. And I think it grows a community. And that's one of the things that I love about music and why I do this, because I believe that we need to foster more music and we need to find music from around the world we don't know and share it where we are locally and share ours outward so that people can share it locally with their friends. And I like having conversations with music fans too. And I think if I look back, my closest conversations with people have become like really great friends or people that I see 
like frequently out when I go to festivals, you have your festival friends and, or you just build these communities and they just keep growing. And that's why I music. Music always creates something in you, whether it's a cathartic use of using music to help you heal from something, or it's a way to connect and make new friends, or just to feel things when you don't feel things, or even if it's just to help you with becoming a better world citizen or breaking down barriers between countries and different cultures because music has that way of kind of getting in in spaces where normally if you walk up to somebody it's not the same it's that music can kind of help foster those things so music is music and it does so many beautiful things that's why i'm music and that's why this channel is here so i hope you guys that have found me love music as much as I do. And if you don't love it as much as I do, but you just want to talk about music or look at something, welcome as well. You know, everybody does music a little bit differently, but I look forward to the great conversations I have with you guys in the comment sections of the videos because we're having some great conversations and I'm learning so much about bands that I didn't know about and fostering these great communities of people just sharing their love of music and sharing their love and fandom for artists. So I encourage you to get involved in the comments and if there's videos you think I should be covering or albums you want reviewed, or if you're a label or a publicist and you want to reach out to get your bands in here, you know, whether it's for an interview or some sort of reaction or review for them, please, I welcome that as well. And same for the bands, reach out to me, you know, that's, you know, my contact stuff is in the about section on the channel so you guys can get a hold of me. You know, I'm always looking forward to finding something new and different and even experiencing bands I call new to me because I find weekly I'm discovering bands that have been around for five plus years that may be massive somewhere else in the world that just didn't get covered in the States. So don't think because you love a band that everybody in the world knows your band. So always be out there talking about your bands because many times you're going to run into people who've never heard of them. So thank you for coming by my channel. And if you're first time here or you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I invite you, please subscribe below and click the bell so that you guys get notified. Anytime I press something new content on the channel, you'll be the first to know that it's there. And again, I welcome you and I say thank you for coming and visiting my channel. And those of you who are coming back, thank you so much. You have choices of who you consume content with and I, I absolutely appreciate that you decided to consume some of mine. I, I look forward to talking to you guys more and I will see you guys in whatever next video that comes up, next reactions, interviews, sound off in all of them. I want to hear from you guys. Bye.